WhatsApp. I'm Amar Abdi from VideoDrive.ml. Today I'm going to show you how to create realistic raindrop effect in Adobe After Effects. And yeah, let's see what we are going to create today. All right, let's start. Open Adobe After Effects and create new composition. Click new composition and I'm going to create new drop name it as drop and choose your width and height I'm going to set it as 200 into 1080 I'm going to make it 10 seconds long and click OK I'm going to create a new uh, solid layer And I'm going to name it as drop. Click OK. Click this window and create a rectangle box. Should be small. I'm going to align it into center. If you don't have the align tab on here, go to window and tick this option. Then you have that. Select the layer and select the ellipse tool and create a uh, ellipse. Mm, next, we need to create another mask to um, hide the tail. Actually, I'm going to fade the tail actually I'm going to fade the tail and select the mask and make it to subtract you can see that it is simply cutting off the tail and I'm going to fade it right that's it create another composition we need we are going to create um, an animation for that water drop click ok drag and drop that uh, drop composition into the new composition and you can see that it is now moving and we are going to animate it and keyframe the position uh, you can uh, reveal the position by pressing p on your keyboard and um, create keyframes and while shifting drag you can move that layer it will not tilt all right i'm going to pre-compose it right click on it and choose pre-compose and i'm going to name it as um, animated water drops Click OK. And press Ctrl D to duplicate that layer. and randomly arrange the positions um, Simply move the layer to offset the positions. Mm -hmm. 
select all layers and control D to duplicate or you can simply go to edit and duplicate just move this little bit to repeat the uh, track you can see that it's following duplicate it one more time all right select all layer and right click precompose right click and create new solid you can choose white or black it's not a matter I'm going to name it a small drop and click OK add particle CC particle weld into that layer Simply select this layer and duplicate it. I am going to make it a little bit larger. and I'm going to add turbulent displays to the layer to add some distortion uh, to the shape search for turbulent displays Next, I'm going to add some fast blur to the precom. Select that uh, drop cluster precom and search for fast blur. Drop that there. Next, search for turbulent displays again and drop it there.
duplicate that uh, effect it look like more natural to the water drop Next I am going to make another pre comb and I am going to name it as final comb and select ok. Go to the project tab and drop that water texture onto the pre comb. We created our texture for the water drop and select our background. Drop it to the pre comb and i'm going to pre-compose it right click pre-compose i'm going to name it as bg double tap to open i'm going to create new text over there and align it to the center and i'm going to add some animation to it Simply follow my step to create that type of animation to the text. and I'm going to add some glow effect to it search for glow and drop that effect onto the text layer you can also choose glow effect from the stylized window and duplicate that glow effect simply follow my values to create nice glow effect to the text layer duplicate one more time okay that's it we got nice glow effect and a nice animation too and go back to our uh, final comb and I'm going to duplicate that BG layer just duplicate it and I'm going to uh, track matte option we can see that it's only showing the water texture with the background nice and i'm going to add curve effect to the water drop texture select the alpha and make that value in something like that select the background layer and add cc glass effect to it select the water texture layer You can fine tune this value to create a better result and I'm going to use these values. You can see that it's getting better. And search for camera lens blur and add that effect to both BG layers. I'm going to add some nice blurry look to the background till the text is revealed just follow my step
press U on your keyboard two times to reveal the keyframe. U U. All right, I added nice blur effect to the water drop. I'm going to fine tune my animation. Alright, that's it. This is Amal MP from Video Drive ML and don't forget to subscribe my channel and leave a like. We will see you on next time.